Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best NVIDIA game filters for Warzone right now, both Caldera and Rebirth. As everyone always asks me, Harry, what are your game filters? Can you show us our NVIDIA game filters? So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. But quickly before we do jump into that, if you are new, and be sure to go and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any more videos on the channel. I'm trying to hit 15k subs, and if you can help with that, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you do enjoy it, smash a big thumbs up, and let me know your thoughts on these filters in the comments below. But I'm going to jump straight into it right now. Right guys, so as you can see, these are my game filters right now on Rebirth. But if you can see how bright the map is, how popping like the greens, the yellows, and all the different colors are, I'm just going to sit here and turn the game filters off quickly so you can compare the difference between the two. And look at how boring and grayscale and just lifeless this map looks without game filters on. I can't believe they actually released the game and they made the map looking like this with these sort of colors. Again, I'm going to put them back on just so you can see exactly how good the map does look. Um, I mean, if I'm not going to be killed, but you can just see how much nicer the map looks. Like, even the, the blue of the sky looks even better. And you can just see how good the map looks from up here. We can see the po the colors are popping. Why am I being lit up from the air? Just leave me alone for two minutes. I'm trying to show people the colors. You know what I mean? So, basically, I'll try one more time. We've got... Um, Oh, I thought he was going to kill me. We've got, obviously, the greens, the reds, the yellows are popping. Everything just pops up here. The blues of my tag and all that sort of stuff there pop. Why will you just leave me alone, you absolute freak of nature? And then if I turn the colors off, I will show you guys this. I'm going to show you guys the filters anyway in a minute. But you can just see the difference between the two from when we are on the floor and when we're in the air and just how much the colors look different. You've got the greens, the blues, the yellows, the reds. They all pop so much more with the game filters on. I'm going to land at a corner right now and show you guys exactly what it is for the game filters that I do run. Okay, guys, so in terms of the game filters that I do run, I run the brightness and contrast. Make sure you do that in the, you add them in this order, otherwise your filters won't look like mine do. So make sure you do brightness and contrast first. We're going to go for zero exposure, 32% contrast, minus 4% highlights, minus 80% shadows, and 0% gamma. Next up, we're going to do the sharpen, and for sharpen, we are going to do... Can I close these and open these? In sharpen, we're going to go intensity 60% and ignore film grain 100%. And then finally, we are going to add some color to make it really pop and have that extra little bit of vibrance that's going on. We're going to go for tint color and tint intensity at 0%. Temperature at 0 and vibrance is going to be up to 100. And as you can see, again, I will walk back outside and you guys will be able to see how good the game looks with these filters on. I'll get to the top of these stairs and just show you like an overall look of the map you'll be able to see the colors that pop and just how much better it looks i like like i said before i can't believe they released the game without these sort of colors in the game without it looking like this anyway caldera is a little bit better than what they did with Verdansk and rebirth but even still i use these filters on both rebirth and caldera and it just makes the game look so much nicer so here we can have a little overlook of the map we can see the greens of the grass the yellows everything just pops a lot nicer whereas if i don't and turn these off we can just see how plain and boring it is. Like, the, gr the grass doesn't even look green. It genuinely looks grey. The yellows are really boring. The blue on the door doesn't pop. That green there doesn't pop. And again, we'll turn it back on just so you guys can sort of see the back and forth. you got a little bit more pop there. You can actually see the blue on the door. You can see the bright yellows. The greens pop. The blue pops on the water. And it just looks so much nicer. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to smash the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, notifications turn on. Go and smash that big red button and ding on the bell next to it so you're notified every time I post a video. And if you guys do use these filters, let me know your thoughts on them in the comments below. I appreciate what you're doing. We'll catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.